What is going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 23 tutorial here on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the 4-3-1-2, one of the best formations in the game. And as always, you're more than welcome to show your support towards the series, drop a like if you're enjoying it and leave a comment below, let me know which formation should I cover next. Also make sure to check Mike's channel. I do these type of videos together with him. I do the custom tactics. He does the reviews of the squad. Before starting with the tactics, uh, it's very important to say a few words also about the formation. Uh, this player right here, the central attacking midfielder, uh, will be your jolly jocker. He will be the player that will hold in his hands, actually, uh, at his feet uh, the faith of the squad in my opinion because he needs to be extremely extremely good at passing and also a good dribbler plus he needs to be able to shoot the ball quite well so search a player that is good at passing good at dribbling and also who can shoot the ball quite well he will need to uh, do some very nice passes for the two strikers now if, if he's got speed also that's a big plus because you will be able to uh, use him on counters. You just pass the ball, let's say, from Fred uh, to Felix or to Holland. And then you trigger the uh, run manually of Mount while doing the Fred pass to, to Felix. And with Felix, you will be able to do a through ball behind the defender line to Mount, Mason Mount, who will be making that run. So if he has the pace, uh, that would be ideal. If not, you're just losing a uh, counterattack option with the cam, not more other things that need to be said here as a cm i've got renato S sanchez he's more of a box to box player i would advise you to have a pure cdm pure cdm means also a bit of a taller player let's say chomeni uh, kessie over there those are the players that i advise you to have also uh, right back left back they need to have pace because half of the game plans for the 4312 involve the full backs to support the attack and they need pace for that uh, this being said let's jump to the custom tactics and as um, explained in previous videos we're gonna have four uh, game plans plus the balanced one balanced one being the one that you use to enter uh, the game minute one we're gonna have defensive style unbalanced never you, you know never drop back and also you never start pressure on heavy tasks of press after possession loss if you've got, uh, I don't know, 20 million squad, 10 million squad, 5 million squad, your opponent has a 100k squad, okay, maybe you put pressure on him like this, but otherwise, mm, 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 I don't advise you. With here in defense, I would actually say that you need to go a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit higher, like 50, not as previously explained for the 442 with around 40. Why? Because you got a narrow formation. 4312 is quite a narrow formation, and you don't want your team to be caught off guard when the opponent changes sides. Depth will be on 55. A bit aggressive here. Build up play. Balanced. And for the 4312, I do believe that it's kind of mandatory not to play um, balanced here at chance creation and go forward runs or direct passing, whichever suits you best. Just try them, see uh, what you like more. Uh, you need to play fast at times with the 4312, and you need support in attack. You need your players to make those runs automatically. This is why forward runs, direct passing seems like a very good option. Team with in attack, I would go around 55 as i was saying 4312 is a narrow formation you need it you need to widen it widen it up a bit players in the box on six corner kicks and free kicks uh two or one at corner kicks i've spoken about this in a previous video and it is again too overpowered the movement of the goalkeeper and it's hard to directly cross and uh, score the opponent just puts the goalkeeper out and catches the ball this is why short pass in my opinion best option let's go instructions uh your cm right here will be stay back while attacking cover center cover wing i would say for one cm and then cover center for the other one also an option here uh, usually when i play 4-3-1-2 i'm aggressive i want to win the ball up the pitch up high the pitch and this is why i have my central attack and midfield we stay forward if you don't do that 
he will come back in defense almost always and you will play with four cms i don't like that i like when i win the ball to have it in attack to have mason mount there the center attacking midfielder as an option as a cam to distribute the ball fast to holland to holland and joe felix now stay back while attacking for both of our fullbacks but again you might want to experiment with it and use the d-pad to press uh, to use the offensive option and have them join attack. Uh, strikers, I don't really play with them here. I don't really play with anything else. So that's cover center, cover wing for left CM, right CM. I've got cover center for and uh, stay back all attacking for the CDM. Stay back for Nuno Mendes and Nelson Semedo. Stay forward for the cam. That's the basic one. That's the one I use when I start the game. Um, let's say now that maybe you want to use the 4-3-1-2 also for ultra defensive and even, even though i don't advise you that i advise you to play a 4-2-3-1 wide in my opinion over there but if you go with that uh, option uh, let's see what to do defensive style balanced team width 45 50 you don't want to be too narrow you already have a narrow formation depth will be lower of course 40 build up play long ball and possession i don't believe here that balanced or slow build up is good against the constant pressure of the opponent that will happen at the end of the game uh, when he goes ultra attacking because you're gonna use your ultra defensive one when the opponent goes ultra attacking at the end because the opponent is losing and he wants to come back in the game so that constant pressure will be an issue for slow build up and risky that's why long ball and then possession in the opponent's half is a better option team with 55 in attack you've got a narrow formation you've got to widen it up a bit to keep possession players in the box one you don't want to score you, you want to score but you don't want to force it you just want to be super safe corner kicks free kicks on one and now in terms of instructions we are going to have stay back while attacking for both of our fullbacks stay back while attacking uh why isn't this set up here sorry for that lads uh, stay back while attacking cover wing for one cm stay back while attacking cover center for the cm and the third one will have will have stay back while attacking and cover center also come back on defense for the central attacking midfielder and i would put the more massive the stronger the stronger striker would come back on defense also so you can properly defend now this option right here with the defensive 4-3-1-2 you're gonna use it of course when you scored one two goals you want to be a bit more careful with the development of the game and not force things too much defensive style balance team with uh, and depth 50 with 50 offense balanced balanced and team with in attack 55 players in the box for corner kicks one two free kicks at one now in terms of instructions still stay back while attacking for the fullbacks but you will want to change a bit stay back while attacking cover center for uh, one cm we're gonna have stay back while attacking cover wing and stay back while attacking cover center same as before uh, but you will not be having here come back on defense for one of the strikers you will have though come back on a defense for the central attacking midfielder so we've covered the 4-3-1-2 uh, that you use when you start the game the 4-3-1-2 ultra defensive 4-3-1-2 defensive now let's go 4-3-1-2 pressure and th this is one of my favorites uh, this is what i actually use when i want to come back in the game this is one of my game plans when i want to come back in the game besides the f besides the 442 4 triple two that i'm using to start the game 4312 is when i want to come back in the game pressure after possession loss team with 55 death 60 long ball at build up play together combined with forward runs team with 50 players in the box at seven and corner kicks here one two depending on your preference free kicks on two now instructions hey 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 balance for the fullbacks this is when things get spicy for the opponent it's gonna be tough for him to stop the fullbacks uh supporting helping the attack uh balanced cover wing for both of the left central midfielder and right central midfielder because your fullbacks will be helping the attack so you need the cm to be covering the left cm and right cm to be to be covering that particular area of the pitch if you lose 
possession of the ball. We will still have Renato Sanchez who we'll stay back while attacking and cover wing. Let's assume that on the right side of the pitch, I've attacked with Fred and Nelson Semedo. I've lost the ball in attack. I've got Fred and Semedo up front. Se Sanchez over here will cover the side of Fred and Semedo. Very, very important thing here. We're going to have... Uh, sorry. Oh, I made a mistake here. I wanted to put... Actually, I had on Mason Mount stay forward on my central attacking midfielder. Very, very important. Strikers don't really do anything with them. I just leave them on mixed. Last but not least, ultra attacking. Last ah, five, ten minutes in the game. You got nothing to lose. You go all out attack. Constant pressure, of course, that defensive style. Team with 60, depth, 75, build up play, fast build up, chance creation. Forward runs, team with 55. Players in the box will be at 8, 9. Corner kicks. I, I don't go higher, like 5, 4, 3, no point. Uh, I'm not scoring from direct crosses, so corner kicks 1, 2, free kicks on 2, 3. Now, instructions. As I've explained in previous videos, in previous videos, usually the tactics override the instructions in many cases we will have the one thing we're gonna have balance for the fullbacks they will be supporting the attack a lot due to the fast build up uh, and forward runs we're gonna have though stay back or attacking cover wing for renato sanchez uh, together with diego carlos and ricardo carvalho the two center backs this will be a trio sanchez carlos carvalho that will try and stop the opponent on counter attacks uh, regarding regarding the left cm and right cm uh, Get into the box for a cross for one and balance for the other one. Also, aggressive interceptions for uh, them. Mason Mount stay forward, aggressive interceptions and the strikers on balanced. So first, uh, these are my instructions, my tactics for the 4-3-1-2. Uh, a superb formation. It's not a control formation for uh, possession. Uh, you use this if you want to play fast and if also you're having a decent connection i would also advise you to play the 4-3-1-2 uh, against better opponents if you see that the opponent is better play 4-3-1-2 you're gonna have more options to pass the ball you're gonna risk more with the fullbacks joining the attack but have more options this will be all for today fellas don't forget to drop a like leave a comment below let me know which formation should i uh, talk about next have an awesome, awesome day, everyone. Bye-bye.